Hello everyone. Welcome to this demo on how to combine images using mask. So previously we were dealing with mask onto adjustments. Now we're going to make mask directly onto images or layers. So this lab is going to be combining two images. We have the first one, which is a nail and the second one, which is a hammer. Okay. So to make this work, what we're going to do is we have to bring one of the images onto the other one and then blend them. I'm going to show you the final image right here. So it should look something like this. It's almost like there's an identity crisis, like the nail wants to be a hammer or the hammer wants to be a nail. Okay. So this is what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to blend them together with the use of mask. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through the steps. So first we're going to start with this image of the nail and we have the hammer. Okay. So what I'm going to do, it doesn't matter which one you do first. I'm going to bring the hammer onto the nail. Okay. So you can do it this way. So I'll try to follow mine when I do it. So there are a couple of ways that you can do it. An easy way is if you press command A, you select this image. Okay. And then you do command C, you can go here and do command V. All right. So right now, if you look at my layers, I have both of them right here. Okay, I have the background one and then I have the layer one, which is the hammer. Okay, so the first step that you have to do to blend these two images, I'm going to hide the visibility so you can see that I have the nail and I'm not lying, it's still there. Okay, I have this one that's covering. Remember, whatever's on top is going to cover what's underneath. So right now I have these two layers right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the opacity of layer one first. I'm going to put, you know, it doesn't have to be precise. I'm going to put 50 just so we can see through the hammer and see the nail. Okay. And that's a very important step. Okay. So when I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press command T for transform. So that way I can rescale my hammer to match the width of the nail. So I have to zoom in. All right. So I'm going to go over here and I have my hammer here. Okay. So you can see that what I'm looking for is around this area. I want to make sure that it's the same width as the nail. So that's why we lowered the opacity because you want to make sure that you have it precise. Okay. So I'm going to put it somewhere there. It's not quite there yet. I have to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to grab here the corner and pull it in and then see how that looks. That's looking close, a little bit smaller. Okay, so let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. Okay, now remember, once that you have this set up how you want it, you can move it with the arrow keys. So with my arrow keys, I'm moving it up, I'm moving it down, so you can kind of fine tune it. Um, I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, so I have the hammer where I want it. I'm going to zoom out. Okay, and now that I have that, I'm going to approve it. You can either hit return on your keyboard or I can click on this check mark right here. I'm going to check that. And now that I have that approved, I'm going to go back to the opacity at 100. Okay, so now I have this hammer here and the nails underneath. You can kind of see the edge of the image. Okay, now. What I'm going to do is add a mask and to add a mask, you have to have the layer selected, not the background. You're going to select layer one and you're going to click on the mask icon, which is this one right here. It looks like a Japanese flag. You're going to click on it and then you will see this little white rectangle next to the thumbnail of the image. And you have to make sure that you are clicking here, not on the hammer thumbnail. You have to be making sure that you have the mask selected. So once you have the mask selected, you can basically paint normally how you, we've been doing with the adjustment. So if I paint with black with the brush, I'm going to select the brush right here and I'm going to just for the fun of it, just so you can see, right? So it's right there, exactly how we've been doing the mask with the adjustment. So you basically hide that part. So I'm going to make my brush bigger and I'm going to start from the edges. I'm going to start trying to blend the whites of the two images. Now you can see how I'm doing it here. I'm really careful. I'm not painting here. I'm painting in the outside because I want to make sure that I don't paint the hammer. I want to keep the hammer. I just want to get 
you know, this line a little bit softer. And again, I have my hardness set to zero. So that way it's a soft brush. Okay. So that's the first part. Get rid of that line. Now that you got rid of that line, I can make my brush bigger. And the reason I'm making it bigger is so that transition is really smooth between the hammer and the nail. Okay. And I'm going to start painting here and I slowly am going to start moving to the right until I get to that part that I had the same width, which is there. Look at that. Really easy, right? So let me show you what that mask looks like. So this is my mask. Oh, there's a little bit that I forgot there. It doesn't really matter because there was nothing there, but I like to keep things clean. So right now I have that hammer. If I hide this, this is what's revealing. It's just that part. Okay. And that's on top of the nail. So that when you look at it, it looks like they're blending together. Okay. So we can zoom in. Now, when you zoom in, you will notice any little mistakes like this one right here. It's not quite good. So I'm going to go back here. Select my brush with a B, make it smaller here. And I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. Make sure I don't have that right there. And if you want, um, you can make sure if you need to resize it, make it bigger or smaller, but this looks pretty good. I think this looks great. So I can zoom out and then I have my hammer nail. So that's a way of using mask to combine images. Really easy to do, right? You just blend the two images together by the use of mask. Now, the important part was that I was here on my brush. I had the hardness to zero. Okay. That's really important. The other important part is just the size of the brush. Okay. If I would have kept the size of the brush small and I would have been painting this, you would have been able to see that brush, right? So that's why I made the brush big. So it was a small transition. Okay. If I would have done the brush like this, very small, I would have been able to see that difference. You see the tone difference now? That's why you want to make it big. So you have a soft transition. Okay. So that's lab, the lab that you're going to do to start to learn how to combine two images with the use of mask.